Hi, my name is Vicki Shields. I am a Tika all breed judge. I've been judging for 35 years. The best thing in the world, I get to play with cats all weekend. It's like being a grandparent. Then they send the cats home and somebody else takes care of them. <laughs> This is by special request. I'm talking about the Siamese pattern. This is very popular and it's an interesting pattern. It also occurs in rabbits, mice, guinea pigs. It's, they call it a Himalayan pattern. And the tricky thing about it is it's temperature sensitive. So when these cats are born, since they're inside their mother, all curled up and it's uniform temperature, they're all this light buff colored. It stays that way in any warm environment. See how the body is a lighter color because it's warm? And then at about two weeks old, the extremities like the tail and his little feet and the nose and the ears start curling, cooling off and it goes ding, and it hits the temperature where the pigment can start being produced. And that's why it's only up here in the cold parts. And this is true on the rabbits and all the other uh, animals that have the same uh, pattern. And just like people, if any of you in the audience have a Siamese who's about 14 or something years old, do you notice how the body is very, very dark? That's because cats are just like people. As they get old, their metabolism slows down and their body temperature drops and it goes ding to the point where it starts producing more and more pigment. And as I've told people, my great aunt who lives in Florida, is 85 years old and her metabolism is not so good. So she's cold all the time. <coughs> she wears a sweater, even though she keeps the condominium up to 90 degrees heat all the time, because just like cats, the body temperature starts falling. And uh, then the, the uh, she, well, she's not a Siamese, but if she was, she'd have a dark body. <laughs> they all have blue eyes because it's lesser pigmentation. Can you see on him? And uh, you often see this on Himalayan cats. Those are the ones that look like Persians, but they have this pattern. I'm not sure if Himalayan rabbits have it or not. I've actually not looked at enough rabbit eyes, but it's the same temperature sensitive thing. It's also for those of you who are interested in it, uh, when they get Tonkinese and Burmese, those are all in the same allelic albino series. And a Burmese coloration plus a Siamese ends up with a Tonkinese, which is 50-50. So it doesn't look like this and it doesn't look like a Burmese. It looks like half and half. Anyway, that's what the Siamese pattern is. It's a very popular pattern. It's a very old pattern. It's been around in the United States anywhere, anyways, for centuries, I think, just since cats came over and cats came to the United States definitely with the Vikings. It's been genetically proven that they came over because they were ratters on the ships. I don't know if the Siamese pattern was on there or not because they don't have that much of a record of uh, which cats were on the ships. And that's about it. Is that good for Siamese cats? Yay! Thank you, Willie. His name is Willie. <laughs>